field gun fired once again from Edinburgh Castle and marking the end of the two minutes silence. In Balmoral, the piper now playing the traditional Scottish folk tune, Flowers of the Forest. Prince Charles is now stepping forward to place his wreath to remember those who died and whose lives were forever changed in the Second World War. The wreath of poppies he's now placing underneath the Celtic cross of the Balmoral War Memorial is the same wreath he lays at the Cenotaph on Remembrance Sunday. He's bowing his head now. And walking back from the War Memorial, the Duchess of Cornwall now laying flowers between, uh, beneath the cross. They're a mixture of spring flowers, which we're told were picked by the Duchess from the garden at Burke Hall. And despite the lockdown, it's hoped that the spirit of May the 8th, 1945 can still be captured across the UK today. That was Sarah Campbell. Thanks for that. Let's get the news now from Jim Taylor. The UK has fallen silent to remember those who gave their lives during the Second World War on the 75th anniversary of VE Day. The Prime Minister says our gratitude will be eternal to those who served and lived through the war. Bert Turner, who's 96, was an RAF engineer. You were all scared that you were going to be the one that failed. And I think that's what pulled us through the camaraderie of the crews. There's, uh, there's nothing glamorous about it. We, yeah, we were happy to have survived. Events are taking place all day and the Queen will address the nation later, but public gatherings have been cancelled because of coronavirus. The Chief of the Defence Staff, General Sir Nick Carter, says today will be tough for the veterans in care homes. It's times like this where we all need to come together and recognise that this is a national effort, it's a national enterprise what we're doing. And I think when we look back to um, those veterans and what they did, um, it's their values that we remember, their teamwork, their positivity, their good humour and adversity, and of course their sacrifice. And I think they gave us hope, uh, and I think that's the most important thing we can all have at the moment. For the first time, people in Berlin are being given a public holiday to mark the end of World War II and the liberation from Nazi rule. The government is urging people to stick to the coronavirus restrictions this bank holiday weekend. Ministers have stressed that nothing will change before the Prime Minister's address on Sunday, but the government intends to scrap the stay-at-home message. The British rapper Ty has died after contracting COVID-19. The 47-year-old, whose real name was Ben Chigioki, was nominated for the Mercury Prize in 2004. And the head of the UN claims the pandemic has unleashed a tsunami of hate and xenophobia which needs to be defeated. Antonio Guterres says anti-foreign sentiment has surged online and in the streets. BBC Sounds. In these testing times, people everywhere are making a difference. I'm part of a really lovely mums group. We all got together and said, right, we need to do something really good every day to make each other smile. I said, I've got my eight foot T-Rex costume, so I'm quite happy to put this on when I go for my daily walk. Uh, one lady was in the car and she was very upset coming back from seeing her mum. And she messaged me and said, oh, when I saw you at the traffic light, <laughs> it changed everything and it just made me laugh and it made me smile. Hear more inspiring stories on the Make a Difference podcast. Download the BBC Sounds app to listen. The BBC, bringing us closer. First for news and the best live sport. This is BBC Five Live. Giles on Friday. With Adrian Giles. Uh, thank you very much for all the stories you send in of your families, what they went through during the war and specifically on what VE Day was like for them. Uh,